Hi friends, it's so great to see you again. Miss Benton here. We have been working hard all week and I'm so proud of you. You haven't given up even when things got tough. You should really give yourself a big pat on the back. Your first grade teacher will be so proud of you and all your kindergarten teachers are gonna miss you so much and those big smart brains and big hearts that just love to learn. Okay, so before we start our lesson, I want us to go over our math vocabulary and we've been working really hard on these words. I think that you should tell me what these words mean. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. The first word is add. What does add mean? You're right, it's when you add join two numbers together to get a bigger number. Great job. We have addition. That's when we are focusing on adding. What is a equation? What's an equation? You're right. An equation is when you have your add-ins and your symbols together like four plus one equals five. Plus. What is plus? You, yes, the plus sign is what you use when you add. Great job. We have add end. Yeah. My gosh, you guys are so smart. Add and are the two numbers that you add together in our equation. Great job. Okay. Equal. Can you do it? What, what does equal mean? Yes, great job. Equal is our equal sign and that shows us then what our answer is. Okay, last one, sum. Oh my gosh, yes, sum is our answer. Wow, Woohoo! you guys are awesome. You did such a great job. Now, today we will write two equations for sums of seven, eight, and nine. Then you will show me how much you know by using five to help you add numbers with sums to nine. When you have finished, if you have time, we can play shake and spell for seven and eight and nine counters. I can't wait. For this next part of our lesson, we're gonna need our 10 frame again, our red and yellow counters, and you can always use the ones that you made at home. Um, and you can use a dry erase board or a pencil of paper with, and if you use your dry erase board, you need your marker. Okay, first let's add two and seven. Place two red counters on your 10 frame and then seven yellow counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we look at the colors, we see the addition problem, two plus seven. If we look at the rows, we see the addition problem, five plus four. Use the five counters in the first row to help you find the sum of two plus seven. So what's our sum? Nine, great. Now we can write two equations. Looking at the colors, we can write two plus seven equals nine. And if we look at the rows, we can write five plus four equals nine. So we have two plus seven equals nine and five plus four equals nine. Now let's show how we can do this online. Two equations for a sum of eight, but we're gonna do this online. So we're in lesson number five in our modules. Oh, let's make sure that we are in number core because we're going to first grade. We are in lesson number five. So we're gonna need our 10 frame right now. So let's place um, six red counters on our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we'll need two yellow counters. One, two. Now we're going to write two different equations using first the colors and then the rows to help us find our sum. Okay. So our first equation, if we use the colors, is six plus two, oops, equals eight, okay? Now if I look at the rows, I have five plus three equals eight. Okay, both ways equal eight. Awesome. 
teach her what you know so that she can help you move forward or maybe reteach some things that were a little bit difficult for you. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you never give up. We're going to work on workbook, workspace book page number nine. So what you're going to do is you're going to write an equation for the reds and the yellows and then write an equation for the rows for each of these. Now take your time and do your best and if you need help you ask you can ask your teacher. When you're all done make sure you meet with your teacher so that she can go over it and see how smart you are. When you have finished the show what you know in workspace page number nine, you can play shake and spill and work on page number 10 in your workbook. Um, now we're gonna work and do shake and spill. You can do um, it in many different ways of having seven, eight, or nine counters. So to play shake and spill, remember you need your cup, your red and yellow counters, um, oh, we don't need our jumping right now, but you'll need your workbook and a pencil. Now you're gonna, I have eight counters right now, so we're gonna shake and spell and you're gonna sort out your reds and your yellows and you're going to then write how many red, how many yellow, and then your equation. You can also do this online and I'll show you now. Or do shake and spill. We are gonna do shake and spill though with counters from seven, eight, or nine. So you can push this air right now like I just did to increase the number of counters that are go in your cup. Let's do seven. So I put seven counters that are gonna be in my cup. I'm gonna shake. And now we are going to sort the red ones. And then the yellows. And we're working on workspace book page number 10. So let's get my pencil out. I have four red plus three yellow, four plus three equals, hmm, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, okay? And then to start over, you can reset. Hey friends, I am so proud of you. You showed me what you knew and you worked so hard. You didn't give up. And even though if you made a mistake, you kept working hard. And that's what a true first grader does. Big boys and girls over here. Now, I hope you had fun playing Shake and Spill too. You can keep playing to practice how to get different sums from five to 10. Now it is time to celebrate all our hard work. And I think we should do, hmm the seal of approval. Now this cheer, you get to pretend to be a seal. So put your arms together and go, ah, ah, ah. It's so silly, but it's so fun. All right, I loved working with you and I hope you have a great time and keep working.